As rousing music blasted through the town of Nabatea in southern Lebanon, people came out to pay their respects and show their grief for the fallen fighter. Ayman Idris, a militant with Amal, a Shiite group allied with Hezbollah, was killed in Israel's ferocious preemptive strike. The mood here is unforgiving, and it's likely the cycle of violence in this disastrous conflict will not end anytime soon. The negotiation with uh, Israel will never end. We will always fight Israel. We will always defend our south against Israel, no matter what happened uh, until uh, Israel is gone. The fighter's son was comforted as he said his final goodbye to his father. Other relatives lay over the coffin in tears. Hezbollah and its allies have been fighting along the border with Israel for months. Retaliation for the assassination of their top commander was a moment many in the region were dreading. These funerals are happening nearly every day in southern Lebanon. And although both sides have indicated that this latest phase of escalation is over, the cross-border fire between Israel and Lebanon continues, and with it, the possibility that a much bigger war could be sparked. The fear of a broader war is being felt across Lebanon. And in the capital, Beirut, there's an uneasy calm, but people are worried about what lies ahead. The, the situation is uncertain. After what happened yesterday, after the uh, uh, Hezbollah uh, uh, response to the killing of uh, uh, Shukr, uh, we are back to square zero. What, what it, it does mean, we are back in this situation of limited war, not full-blown war, but limited war with all the risk to slide into a full-blown war at any moment for any miscalculation that could happen. Much of southern Lebanon is now deserted. Tens of thousands of people have fled for safer areas, as they have across the border in northern Israel. A dangerous moment then may have passed for now, but the risk of further escalation remains. Alex Rossi, Sky News, southern Lebanon.